Hello everyone. Good morning. Today we are going to find out about why is agarwood so expensive. Okay. Now many of you may have heard about agarwood, and uh, let's find out why is it so expensive. Some of you may know agarwood is actually just a tree, and it is actually in the jungle of Malaysia, Cambodia, or uh, Thailand, no, in the Asian countries. And this agarwood has been used by people from China, people from Middle East, and they like it so much. Why? Because it's so valuable. Why is it so... Uh, they like it so much? Because in the Chinese history, uh, currently also, other word is used as a traditional Chinese medicine and is actually enjoyed by the rich and famous people, the upper class people, the people who knows how to enjoy other word. In the Middle East, it is a culture. They smell the other word, they burn the smell and they put it, the perfume on the self and the smell that you carry on your body uh, will determine, people will tend to determine your, your social status because of the smell. If you carry a nicer, more, more expensive smell, they tend to think that you're, you're richer or you're more affluent. So this is the culture that they have. Now, he has been around for thousands of years, uh, this tradition of Agawa Only a few people a few people is is uh, a few people is working on this thing. Now there is a complaint that uh, the link is not working. Let me look at it. Let's go live now. Okay, it is working. All right, let's continue with our topic. Now, other word is expensive. Now, question is, what is agarwood? Okay, agarwood actually is in the tree. Is the tree? Now, the tree itself actually has no value. It's just a tree, right? It's just a tree. Or oh, over here, it's just a tree. It's just the value comes when the tree is injured, suck it. Huh? When the tree is injured, so the tree, just like us human beings, the tree will react to the injury by curing itself. So, example, you see this? The tree is injured inside, you know? So, the tree generates something to protect itself, right? Now, what actually is this something? It's something that the tree created, uh, biological terms, uh, yeah, there are many terms to call it. Um, the tree will protect itself from this pathogen that comes in, the pathogen and the virus or whatever in the body. So, it is a medicine created naturally by the tree. You see this line here? Yeah, this is the line that the tree created and it protects the tree. So, that's why the, the tree is generating the medicine for us. So, well, the tree is in the jungle. Well, you know jungle, a lot of... Um, Things happening, so the tree may be attacked by animals, may be attacked by insect that goes in, may be attacked by flood, fire, or even um, maybe landslide. So all this injury to the tree, the tree will react, and that's why in the jungle the reaction of the other wood is um, depending on the environment. So the tree that has no reaction, no value. The tree that's erection has value. So, in a nutshell, the tree is generating a medicine to cure itself. Right? So, to cure itself. And what we are harvesting is the medicine naturally produced by the tree and it is proven effective. Because if it wasn't effective, the tree would have just died. Now, when we chop down the tree, the tree is still alive and it's healthy, that means the tree already overcome the injury. And this is the part that we harvest, and that is why in the China, Chinese is uh, considered as a uh, medicine, in traditional Chinese medicine, and in the 
in the Middle East is believed that these things are aphrodisiac. It's good for a lot of things. It's believed that this thing is good for uh, curing your beauty. I mean, uh, make it more beautiful. Yeah. Um, there are actually there are also many medical research on other word, which uh, today we are not going to cover. Uh, maybe I'll cover it next time. That what are the research being done on other word and what it is so good. Okay, so any of you, if you have any further question, uh, you can raise it there, and then, or if anything you don't know about the word, you can put it out in PM me at the message there, and I will talk about it in future. So now that you know uh, the other word is formed, now how is it formed? And other word is now used to be in the jungle because it has been uh, chopped down by a lot of people and is now facing extinction. Okay, so international body under United Nation, under the scientist, okay? The scientist is the international body who actually protect all those uh, wild uh, flora, fauna, including like arowana, including like sharks and whale, and also agarwood trees. So agarwood tree is a protected species. Meaning, we can trade, but it's under schedule too. Means every time when you export, we need to ask for permission because internationally is controlled. How much can be exported from one country? Like Malaysia is given like 200 tons a year. It used to be used to be uh, more, but now getting less and less because the resources getting less and less. So if the trees have been protected, that is so, but it's still so good. So what is the government trying to do? So that's why the United Nations has signed up with a lot of treaty with a lot of uh, all countries. And in each country, they give quota. And then they also encourage the country, the government, to encourage people to plant under sustainable plantation. That's why now you have agarwood from jungle, one side, and agarwood from plantation. So agarwood used to be from jungle, but now it's going towards plantation because jungle is uh, depleting and so the government allow or encourage people to plant. Us, for us, for example, we planted, wow, we planted a lot of trees, uh, 30, 40,000 trees. Then we buy, we, we buy trees from the forestry department as well, department. We plant because we have the technology to inoculate the trees and to create valuable things. So we, it, after it clean the trees, the tree gets hurt and hurt in the correct way. You see, in the jungle, the trees are being hurt in all sorts of things. Some may be good, some may not be good, and some, after the tree cured itself, this injury, this bad thing that happened to the tree is still remain in the tree. Now, when we apply this onto our body or we smell it, there is a risk that it might be dangerous. We do not know, okay? It might be dangerous because it's not properly evaluated. Now, because it is rare and it's a uh, Chinese say, it means you, it's yours, it's yours, it's not yours, it's not yours, it's not yours you know? So, uh, it becomes so expensive. And that's why it's so expensive because it's unpredictable. But unfortunately, really, 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 you don't know the quality. On the other hand, the plantation one, the plantation one, the trees are nurtured by us, like for example, our plantation and they don't say about other plantations, our trees are nurtured properly, organic. We try to do organic, but sometimes we, we have to do uh, some pesticide when the disease get too big, so we have to control, but at the end of the day, we try to be as much as possible as organic, right? Now, um, even the microbes that we inject into the, the pathogen that we inject into the tree is a uh, healthy to human being ultimately. We know that this tree, this pathogen that goes in, uh, will hurt the tree for a while, and after the tree cure it, it will go away. So we have actually selected, uh, not just selected, we actually do a lot of research in our laboratory, a lot of research to identify the correct mixture, correct percentage of pathogen, the types of pathogen that go in, that the tree will not affect uh, will generate the dollar return but won't have a long-term effect on the user. So actually now I always tell people, in fact, if you buy the agar wood that's from planted, it's so much better than the apply from the jungle. Why? Because it's safer. 
and the quality is a shirt. The younger one, you're not sure, and sometimes people do a lot of funny things uh, to it so that they get more money. Whereas a uh, plantation one, we actually plant it and we have a reputation. So actually, it is more safe to, to use or to uh, use or smell or enjoy the agarwood from the plantation. Now, I did mention just now, agarwood has a lot of medical benefits, right? So once we go into plantation, we can start to produce the product in accordance to the, the need that we want. When it's in the jungle, it, the qualities and the percentage and what is uh, something we can control. That is why you don't see a lot of products for common people being produced from agar wood because so far people still enjoy it in the form of raw wood, cheap or just pure oil. Now, there is only a small group of people who enjoy pure oil, we can afford a pure oil, right? Which is, according to people, according to the market saying that uh, it is more expensive than gold. No? One kilogram of uh, oil, true, one kilogram of uh, oil, uh, gold oil is more expensive than gold, which is true. Okay, so now, let's talk about the, uh, uh, the quality of the chip. Very good chip, uh, the sinking grade, for example. Well, when I say that, and when I say it's more expensive than gold, I'm referring to the sinking grade, not the common grade, right? The sinking grade, one kilogram of uh, wood chip is, um, well, they go by the gram. One gram can be 500 ringgit, 600 ringgit, that type of pieces, because it's already an art piece. And sinking grade, next time I'll, I'll show more how is, what do you mean a sinking grade? Literally, it put into the water, it sinks, right? I'll show you more of this in the future, future, uh, future life. Okay, so now that the many people already planted, people like us already planted the trees, we already produced the agar wood, and agar wood has so many benefits. So, what are we going to do? We actually pass all these benefits to consumer. So we make, instead of the wood chip and oil, for example, we used to produce oil and we sell it in this type of uh, crystal bottle, and in this style box, you know, this is how we pack it and we sell, we sell to the Middle East because they enjoy this and by the way, this is our brand. So, uh, it's our brand as well. So we, we do that to the Middle East market, but for the Asian market, what we do is that we actually, uh, from Naga wood oil, we make into common item. For example, we make into soap. Now, the benefit of the agar as I said just now, is from the tree generating the mason to fight. So, we are actually putting the mason naturally produced by the tree inside here. Okay, so you can actually, uh, when you use this, you're actually enjoying how the tree fights. So, many people have said that these are good for uh, inflammation and, uh, on the face or anywhere. So, it actually helps you to enhance. Now, I am not saying that this is the medicine. It's not a rich level, but it definitely is something good. Other than that, we also make into things like uh, candles, you know, things like candles. Okay, so these candles is uh, nicely scented. It has agave smell and many other smell. Then this one is a uh, serenity. So it gives people the serene environment. We add into other essential oil so then make it uh, to the purpose of achieving serenity. Now, the moment you burn these sandals, the good thing will be around the air. You just burn for one hour, you can off it, and the good smell will there for quite some time, a few hours after that. We also produce the essential oil, right? Same thing you can put into the diffuser and the whole environment. You can enjoy the benefit that created by the tree. Also, we have uh, perfume, right? So these are the things that we produce that we try, as a sign nature, we try to bring agarwood to benefit the public. Right, so today, I only talk so much today. Um, next week, Friday, uh, 10 o'clock, I'll continue the next session. Now the next week, I'm going to talk about how agarwood, what are the medical benefits in agarwood that will be uh, enhance your life. I'm going to go through some reports of medical research and what is it inside there and why scientifically proven that other do have those things and it will benefit your life. So join me again next week, 10 o'clock, uh, uh, 10 o'clock Friday morning. Bye-bye.